Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Glopen. I'm your host Boyang. Today we are in Chiba Old Street, a very popular tourist attraction, which many Shanghai locals will often come to. Located by the Puhui River with traditional Chinese architecture and a number of attractions, including museums, shops, and restaurants. Most locals come here for the food. So in today's video, we are going to try out many local specialties during the visit. Unlike Rue Garden, which often can be a tourist scam in the city center, the local specialties here are much more affordable and are represented by some shops and restaurants with decades, if not hundreds of years of history. Chibao Street is also called Chibao Ancient Water Town. Because of the water canals through the area, such towns are very typical in the Yangtze Delta area due to its convenience for transporting goods as well as daily water usage for the residents in the past. Today, these old streets are quite commercialized and the canals are no longer being used for transportation, but we can still find the traditional stores in these streets. Follow me and let's explore the Chiba Old Street. We are now at the center of Chiba Old Street. Puhui River runs through the heart of the old streets. And from this bridge, we can oversee the most popular streets. As you can see here, during the holidays, the streets are flooded by tourists. Sometimes it is even difficult to pass through some areas. On the main street, there are so many shops selling street food to the visitors. You can find all kinds of snacks like crispy pork, soup dumplings, grilled squid, or this very special salt baked quail eggs that I have never seen before. We also tried out the rice dumplings on the main street. So we just ordered one uh, sweet one and a salty one. Okay. Um, so in China, there are two main differences when it comes to rice dumplings. The first difference is uh, sweet or salty. The second difference is how it is made. There is a big difference between the north and the south. In the south, it is called Tang Tuan, and it is made by wrapping the filling with the dough. And it is made one by one. While in the north, it is called Yuan Xiao, and they just put dozens of fillings on a large pan full of rice flour, and by shaking the pan, the filling will be wrapped in the dough. Quite interesting, right? So here we have uh, one salty one and one sweet one. <laughs> So this is the sweet one, this is made of black sesame. So this is the second one, this one is made of meat uh, fillings. It's not very popular, but it's a specialty here, so let's have a try. So as you can see here inside, um, there is um, meat together with some vegetables. So this is uh, a salty rice dumpling. At the same time, you can also find all kinds of meat dishes that you buy here and eat at home. Like the braised duck 
or smoked frog here. This kind of plain sliced lamb is a specialty on this street and there are quite a few shops selling them. So these are the typical meat dishes here, very traditional ones. As you can see here, the pork here is very similar to the concept of uh, shrine haksa. Very big pieces of meat. On the main street, this shop is very popular. Even many Chinese vloggers come to film this shop because the food here is an intangible cultural heritage from Fujian province. It was rumored that in Tang Dynasty, a family was spending Chinese New Year Eve together, and the grandfather of the family wanted to make a dish with duck eggs and meat to symbolize happy family reunion. His two daughters tried, but the grandfather was not satisfied. And then his daughter-in-law stuffed minced meat and vegetables into the egg yolk and then boiled it into pork soup. And the grandfather was very happy with this dish. Afterwards, his son went to war and performed so well in the army that he was promoted to general. And when he came back from the army, he wanted to eat the dish again and believed that the dish brought him good luck. So the dish became popular within Shunchang in Fujian province. So let's have a look. It's really a huge one here. Um, let's see the meat inside. So you can see there's meat inside. Um, there's also some um, mushrooms, some dried mushrooms stuffed in it. Um, salted vegetables like pickles are also a specialty in this area. As you can see here, there are many different salted vegetables in different, uh, made of different vegetables in different seasons. After all the meat dishes, of course, we need some sweets. Within the old streets, there are many rice cake shops selling all sorts of rice cake and sweets. During Chinese New Year, there was also a temporary area for street food from all over China. On the street, we have also found this sugar painting stand. Sugar painting is a form of traditional Chinese folk art, using hot, liquid sugar to create all kinds of figures. Besides food, there are also shops for other products like this medicine shop selling all kinds of traditional Chinese medicine. Or this traditional calligraphy shop that sells traditional ink brush, shun paper, and so on. What was really interesting was this Bodhi seed shop. These Bodhi seeds are like a blind box. You won't know the color and texture on the surface until you open and polish it. These are some of the final products that can look completely different. So how does it work? First of all, you need to select one of these Bodhi seeds with or without the shell. If you select one with the shell, 
they will need to crack the shell first to take out the seed. And then they will need to polish the surface of the seed so it becomes sleek. After adding a hook on the seed, you can add a red string, a Chinese tie, and even more decoration to it for happiness and good luck. This blind box was a huge success and after adding some decoration, it will become even more beautiful. Outside of the busiest area, we have also found interesting shops selling products 30 to 40 years ago in China. There are also many clothes shops selling traditional Chinese clothes and silk products. We have also found this old pound shop in the old streets, though it is not operating anymore today. So that's it for our video today. Do you have similar old streets in your country? If you have any comments, questions, or topics that you would like to see in our next videos, feel free to comment in the section below. So if you enjoyed our video today and our channel, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share so that more people can see our awesome videos in the future. Here, we inspire learning, exchange, and business. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.